but I think that's that's fine it's just yeah and just hold the yeah hold your hand there now a bit a bit there okay okay yeah you started this almost just with the turpentine yeah this uh, whole background here is mostly mostly turpentine and uh, just a bit of just a bit of oil but mostly it's um, it's mostly turpentine there So it's nice to have some of this uh, transparent uh, uh, layer here to get to to use a bit the color of the background, yeah. and then not to start adding so much thick layers uh, all over. It can be a well, you're applying some kind of a middle tone just to yeah. push it back and yes, and then and then maybe glazing it later darker but uh trying to keep some of it i think this will be better if i become less lazy here and i Start exercising a bit and have a pallet on my arm. This is why pallets are made for. <laughs> we should make a uh, training for painters uh, series. Yes. <laughs> oh no, God! <laughs> now I'm so used to it. I was getting going there to get the colors. This is oh. painters' bodybuilding. Oh, ah. <clears throat> That's the ghost. That's the ghost. Of Christmas past. <laughs> yeah. Well, the light has changed a bit today. Yeah, what do you do about that if it's, I mean, is it, has it changed a lot? Well, it changed a bit. Uh, it's quite cloudy then and... Oh, yeah. And then it, it it changes a bit the the light, but well, sometimes if you get a bit a bit of a change or a variation of light, some days you can get some very good uh, nice uh, things there that you don't get on the on, that you didn't get before. So to allow some of those changes to take place it's fine not to have everything completely under control yeah. it's nice to be painting on a figure so big that you can use a really broad yeah i have to because if i now i'm i go using using the the little brush all over it it can be a mess. You're painting quite dry. I mean, it's yes. No medium, just going, continuing straight on what on the previous layer. Yes, and I've been I've been painting more, more and more dry lately uh, than using too much uh, too much oil or medium. Yeah. Um, and then I can I can build up some some uh, thickness or substance from the like from the second third layer. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. yeah that I I guess that's a situation for uh, everyone or quite a few first displacement and then to securing the form and then starting to build up and then tear it down again and then it starts yeah and then, it, uh, <laughs> then you can start painting 
because now it's now it's a lot of explaining how things are and very much yeah. and then adding more and more and then then you start scraping down and and uh, playing with it a bit more but now to have to have some of the shapes correct you see the other day the whole mm -hmm. the whole arm here was uh litten yeah. like uh, in a very flat and equal weight yeah. yes and now there's some light here and then well of course some of there but here is where it comes high light yeah. and then here so then to allow some variation on the light that goes from the shoulder then elbow and then up to the hand this changes and variations on temperature and, mm. and a bit of tone i think that helps so very much to add some kind of dynamic yeah the way the 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 light goes around yeah in my thinking when you use shadow not necessarily caravaggio shadow but shadow in some shape or form um, that you're saying that the figure can come out of shadow and go back into yeah. shadow and then even though the figure is sitting still, you can get some sense of the of movement or ability to move at least. Yeah, I think that that is what can yeah. uh, can be made in the, this uh, exaggerating some some of these transitions. But you wouldn't light her artificially now, or mm -hmm. you, would you light her artificially to to try to capture that same? Well, well, maybe then I could just bring them all a bit towards closer to the window and yeah, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm thinking about adding some artificial light to it. It's still some, but it's not that much. Bah. so great if you can when you can be as lazy as possible when you paint yeah <laughs> I mean, if you really it never works like that of course but I mean, if you really get that skin working you can don't have to do almost anything with the yeah, <laughs> with <that dress. laughs> yeah and then if, if you get uh, sort of a shape and, yeah, and, and yeah. you integrate some of this yeah thing here oh, yeah, that yeah. that works so it's when yeah. you start messing with it and adding more explaining yeah and it's but it's if this could be achieved mm. but with the with the thickness and and substance that, but then that's the whole way to go that uh, well that that's uh, i mean that, that's the classic story right that so here's journey movie. You start there and you go all oh, this journey. Come back. Oh, this is what I should have all the time. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> no, there was no need for the journey. <laughs> oh God, yeah, but no, uh, no. there's a need. Of course. So. Hmm. But you prior to this, I mean, you you had what one two sessions on this. Uh, yes, yeah. two sessions. Yeah, and then you made a sketch yeah. beforehand, some studies and first, uh, first a sketch, charcoal sketch. Okay. And uh, and then after the sketch, just making the the proper lines mm -hmm. to just translate the same kind of proportions of the sketch here. And then, and then I place the model and yeah. So these lines are for transferring the the drawing. Yes. Or copying the drawing onto the canvas. Copying the drawing on the canvas. Yeah. Ah. I 
That's when the problem begins. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking about it. I remember uh, Bob Nader was talking about five singing women and that he wasn't sure about the color of the, sure, the, the drapery or the whatever they're, they're wearing. Mm -hmm. And he said if you're uncertain, just make it gray and then you can twist the color at the end when you understand more. Yeah. Where where are you going? Oh, that's right. But I mean, you have. Yeah, you, as long as you have the general form, a lot of credibility is given to the figure. I mean, the, the contour line. Yeah, that's a tricky thing to get there to God. get the proper. Uh, proportions there and then what happens in but uh, I mean good luck of having that at the first uh, <laughs> <laughs> there are some that I, that can do that in a very skilled way I have seen some of monk uh, paintings which not too much uh, painting at all but it's it's very clear the shape and the silhouette and control over the whole mm. form and what happens in it's just some noise there <laughs> <laughs> wonderful but How do you think when, mm -hmm. because this is going to be outside, yeah. do you think about temperature in the shadow and all these things that I mean, you're painting inside now, do you, do you change the color a little bit to accommodate that or do you just think about form now and then you can add yeah. sort of atmospheric I'm qualities later? Kind of thinking just about form yeah, now yeah. and then yeah. and then it will be uh, well of course I will have I will integrate some of these colors on the landscape and yeah but um, then you bring in the outside uh, colors later yeah thank you for checking out this video from the school of Apelles to watch the full video and access our premium library Go to caveofapillus.com slash subscribe and become a $10 patron. That's caveofapillus.com slash subscribe.